welcome back to the Strangeland server. I'm Modia Verandas. Last episode, we went on a bit of a treasure hunt courtesy of Pasta, and he also gave us a challenge of our own to uh, carry out. So let's get going. All right, so last time we got this little quest from Pasta, which was fun, but the price was the end result of that, and uh, that says that basically we need to build a parkour challenge for another strange lantern to hide the next potato in. So basically, as I said, he gave us work at the end of the day. Um, that was our reward. We get a potato, which is one diamond, which I mean, I have to give a diamond to the next person. So it doesn't really actually benefit it at all of us at all. So that's great. Anyways, between episodes here, I did a little bit of work on the base here. As you can see, I kind of I fashioned out a little more cave in here. I added in a, our own Reggie once again. He's trading. Oh, he wants string. He wants coal. He wants uh, fish. Oh, he could he can make cooked fish for us. Uh, or we can buy a fishing rod. Not that great. Not that great of stuff. Sorry, Reggie. You're not that great. Um, but it's something here. I just saw him wandering around. I thought I'd rescue him from the plights of being a zombie. So uh, he's joined up. We got our first uh, townsperson for our future village someplace around here. I also worked on making a bridge here, which turned out okay. Let's get a better look of it here. Uh, let's head down this path here I also made. Um, and... Yeah, not too bad. I like it. I did a lot of upside down stairs, a whole lot of upside down stairs. It took a long time to get these all right. Uh, it doesn't look like it's that impressive um, at the end of the day. But when you start getting close and like see like, oh, he had to get upside down stairs just fashioned just right for that. How did he do that angle? Uh, yeah, it, it, it took a bit of finesse, I will say, to get this all looking like this. Didn't really have a plan going in. Just kind of uh, felt it out as it went. Uh, and that's kind of the way I've been liking to build in the server here for the most part, is just kind of feel it out as it goes. I planned, the only building I really planned out was the uh, enchantment shop there, the uh, the bookshop. Other than that, everything else has kind of been just uh, see your pants for the most part here. Anyways, we have a challenge in front of us, as I was mentioning before, and we have to build a parkour area. And I think I'm going to put that right at the end of the bridge over here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to level out this, bring it down a few layers, and have it kind of on top of the hill here, I think. Uh, I'm not too sure. I think I kind of want a, a hexagonal, is it octagonal? Octagonal. Octagonal room is my plan for it right now, for the for the basis, for the beginning of it. And then uh, we're going to go up in the sky. It's going to be a big, big, huge parkour track. Track? Course? Something like that. Uh, anyways, this is going to be a build-heavy episode, so I'm going to get building here, and uh, we'll roll that beautiful bean footage. So there is the completed building and it's not quite high enough. I feel like just yet We'll have to see once we start actually building this thing if it feels like it's high enough It might be and this is just going to be level one. I plan to have several levels to this uh, Hopefully at least three I think in three levels with different kind of challenges on each one uh, It's all gonna be parkour based, but um, different kinds of different kinds of puzzles um, 
So let's get into here. I made this little downstairs area is kind of like a spot where you can set your spawn, drop off your equipment. Uh, I'll put a rule book into here. And then, um, yeah, basically this is where I'm storing my, my building materials and that kind of thing for now. Uh, and then let's get upstairs here and see what we got going on here. So I have uh, basically just an open interior here. My plan is to have these four pillars here for level one. And these four pillars are going to be kind of the basis for uh, all of the jumps you'll have to make to get up to the second level. So we got to clear that cobblestone out of there too. But we'll take care of that in a minute. So let's start actually building this thing here. Uh, what I want to do is let's do this and then take out this here. And then we'll put in this so it looks okay. And then the other thing I want to do is uh, we actually have to build these pillars up a little bit. So let's build it up a couple couple things. Now I'm using half slabs here, the bottom half slabs on the bottom half here, or rather, rather bottom floor here, because uh, then mobs won't spawn. Um, so that's a good idea, I think. So we don't have anything spawning that we don't want to spawn here. So we're gonna have to make it little. So you have to do a little jumps around the pillar like this, and then you get up to the actual first big jump. And we'll make it like a diagonal jump. We'll start off right off the bat. Start off strong here. Take this part out. And this is uh, only three blocks separating the jump right now, so it should be just fine to have it up by half a block. Yeah, that'll work. And then um, I'm gonna have it kind of just snaking around this. Kind of a. Uh, like maybe sometimes it's like half a jumps like this, sometimes it's full jumps like that. And then we'll do a bigger jump this time around. So actually, we have to get over to there, I think. And that's no problem because it was lower. But um, because this is, let's see, it's one, two, three. Oh, we can put it like right here, I think. I don't know if we can put it up or down. I mean, the problem here is that we're going to have to like go through this whole thing to test it every single time we want to test it. And <laughs> we might not make the jumps every single time like uh, like I intended to. I think you can make that. I feel like you can make that. Uh, I think maybe if it came down the half a block, because it's the bottom half, it'd be easier. I don't want the first area here to be too tough, is the thing. I want this to be able to get, get done, because I'm not going to have any like break in the middle here. Later on, I'm going to have... I plan to have like rest stops where it'll catch you at a certain point after you get past a certain like tough obstacle. Um, I think that's just good game design. Oh my gosh, can't make this stupid jump now. So... You need to like have a little bit of skill here, which I don't have any skill. I don't do parkour maps generally. Oh my god, that's a jump. That's a makeable jump. It's one, two, three, four. The full sprint that's makeable, pretty sure. Unless this half slabs are causing a problem with it, the full sprint that should be makeable. Let's get, let's eat up here so we don't actually kill ourselves. Don't want to accidentally kill ourselves. That would be bad to kill yourself on your own parkour thing. But then again, people don't usually build these in survival, so uh, they usually are in creative mode, I'm thinking. Be a little easier to uh, do this, I think. And All right, so this is a big one here. <sighs> all right, we're going to build some dirt here. I don't need to prove my, I don't need to prove this to anybody else except myself here, I guess. Uh, let's grab some dirt out so we can like path up when we need to. Because it's going to get worse and worse as I get higher having to make these jumps. And that might, that might actually uh, key me into some of the frustrations here. So we can't actually do that. Let's just do this. Oh, we can't do that either. All right, I guess we'll just do this. I don't have to like, worry about making an actual jump here. Oh, we can totally make that. I know we can make that. I know it's a makeable jump. I'm not gonna trust it though. I need to be able to make my, I need to be able to get through my own course, I think. It's one of the things here. So let's try this one more time. There we go. Okay, so that's not that bad. Uh, it is a tough jump, but I think it'll be challenging enough that it'll keep we're coming back for more, and then I'll make it a little bit easier on the next jump here. Uh, actually, you know what? Maybe I won't. You know what? Maybe I won't. Uh, let's do it like this. Let's come around like the side like this one more time. And then uh, let's pull her up over here. Let's just bring this all the way up now. That way, that way we don't have to worry about it in the future here. And then we'll just uh, get all the way up to the ceiling. And then we'll have to actually mine this out. Because I laid the ceiling in without really thinking about like how I, how I wanted to, how I actually wanted to make this. I could still add on another section here too. This is like one, two, three, four, five. I could do another set of windows, make it three windows tall. I might end up doing that depending on how difficult I want to make this. Now I might, if I do that, I'll probably put a halfway point, like a checkpoint for level one in here uh, at some point. And then we'll get to the more difficult extreme jumps here. Uh, extreme jumping. Yeah, so. Um, so if this is uh, this is taking place over the course of several days, actually. I've been having this, I had this project on my docket for what, like over two months now. So I really needed to get it done. 
Uh, I've been recording this in kind of piecemeal. Uh, so some people on the server have been seeing my, my progress here. Uh, this is my first I'm laying down of actual things here, though. Oh, that's a tough jump. I'm not going to do it again. Um, this is my first time actually making the actual course now. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Tolk has described this building as pasta-esque, which given that pasta gave me the challenge, I guess it's kind of fitting. Uh, let's see, I think that's a make will jump also. <laughs> you actually have to jump in order to make it, though. Um, <laughs> this thing is going to be filled with dirt for me failing jumps. So this definitely... This definitely needs a checkpoint here, I think, because yeah, because this is tough. I'm, I'm trying to make a tough course here, and I think not having any checkpoints would be a big, big problem. So maybe after each one of the windows, I could do like a checkpoint, maybe three checkpoints per area. So there's like three phases to each stage. This is actually going to become uh, Strange Lands Ninja Warrior, I think. This is going to be like a, tr a, tr a series of trials, like a series of stages that you have to pass uh, in order to advance the next one. It's going to be... <laughs> I guess in American Ninja Warrior or Ninja Warrior, it was always a uh, single elimination, though. So you fail once and you're done. You have to wait till next year to try this course again. I don't think I'm going to be that cruel. I think we'll let people try as much as they want, given how much I'm failing at this. Um, to make this jump right here is a tough one. And, and luckily, luckily, I was just thinking it's just high enough to damage you every single time. So definitely don't take any equipment with you uh, if you don't want it uh, broken. <laughs> or, or do take your Featherfall equipment with you if you, if you want. It'll probably save you from this fall, at least. Oh, that is, I, I made that jump once, so I definitely need, need to not do too many of those forward length jumps. But, um... Oh, there we go. That's not that bad. And once you actually make it, it's not that bad. Oh, boy. Alright, so let's pillar up on here. And then this time, we won't miss with the Ender Pearl. I think. I hope. If we hit it with the Ender Pearl, we don't have to worry about jumping again. Alright, there we go. And we better eat again so we don't kill ourselves on our own course. Always a good thing to do. All right, let's go up here. And so I think I will checkpoint it at a few jumps in and maybe do it like three stages, like I was saying, um, because, yeah, I think people to get frustrated and give up on this. And I don't want them to do that. I want them to actually play it all the way through. Because what's the point of making a... That's what I don't understand, but like really, really hard video games. Like, what's the point of making a game? I mean, it is more satisfying. I will say it is more satisfying when you beat a hard game. Um, when it's not handed to you, especially when you finally achieve victory, but uh, there's also a par portion of it that people won't actually see the entire game. Um, so I think that's one of the reasons that like a lot of the like artsier games, uh, your Bioshocks or whatever, are a little bit easier than other games because they want people to see the entire story. It's got a more narrative thing to it than just uh, you know point and shoot kind of stuff of uh, Call of Duty, for instance. But Call of Duty is also relatively easy in the single player part of it. So, I don't know. They, they, I mean, they might have grand ideas about their uh, their stories there too, I suppose. So what we'll do here is, let's see, it's four across. Hmm. Can we go up when? Can we, oh, well, can we go like this? Ooh, we can. That's not, that's not bad. Um, I kind of like the idea of a floating thing though, so I think I don't want to have too thick like this, so we definitely want to do the top portion there when we do a top portion. It's a little deceiving then too, because you don't think it's at the same level or not. Uh, I guess it's not that deceiving. Okay, let's take this all the way down again. Let's run the course from the beginning and see how tough it is. I think, I mean, if I'm really concentrating, I probably can make it in one. And I already failed. I'm not really concentrating though, am I? Let's say I wasn't. Let's say what my heart wasn't in at the time. Oh, the only problem with doing top slabs though, is that I do run the risk of mobs spawning on it, so I might need to put like a, a torch where there was a top slab. Um, and then I have to figure out how I want to do checkpoints. Meaning like, you can get a ladder up to a certain point, uh, or maybe... Um, <laughs> you can, you can just basically, maybe it'll, so like, maybe it'll be solid so that like, you don't, you can't fall beyond a certain point. That might be a good thing to do. It's like, this, uh, this jump sucks. It's tough though. But I think it's a good thing to put up front, that knowing that if you can make this jump, you'll understand like the, the max length you can go. Oh, I almost had that one. Um, so that's a good game design thing too, is like, to show somebody the ropes in level one, in level one, you, you show a person the ropes. This is like the portal method of video game. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna make it. Uh, portal, like it introduces like mechanics slowly over time. Um, there we go. 
So that's kind of my idea here is I'm going to do like level two is going to be something completely different. It's not going to be all these long jumps and that kind of thing, but it's going to build upon the stuff that's already here. All right. Uh, I had to take a little cut there because, um, yeah, things things around the house. Currently recording this at uh, in the evening when I usually record things. Oh, my gosh. Um, and my kid just started like crying, having a nightmare or something. Um, because we just watched Toy Story 3, which is got some frightening imagery in it. If you're familiar with the movie, there's a, a scene. I think it's a pretty famous scene towards the end when uh, the gang is about to go into like a garbage fire. Um, and it's a, it's a frightening scene and he's three. So, you know, it's it's probably I mean, I don't think he really was bothered by it. And I don't think it was. Upon watching it a second time, it's not as scary as it was, but it does like, like it is kind of scary. I don't know if that was what he was having a nightmare about or not, but I kind of have a feeling and maybe, maybe we're giving our kid nightmares already. But you know what? I don't know. I was going to say that it's, it's, it'll, 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 it'll build character, but uh, I don't know if it does or not. We'll see. Um, <sighs> making this jump does not actually, I can guarantee that right now. All right, here we go. No more, no more joking around. We got this one. This stupid jump. I should put like a signifier here so you know that it's a tough one. Um, I should put a little clue, that, clue in, maybe like a cracked stone brick right there, so that you know this jump's gonna be tougher. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll put a cracked one in there just so I can. Uh, let's see. Do I have cracked stone? I don't. Let's go grab some. So I'm gonna for the real tough jumps, the ones that killed me multiple times. Uh, I will like clue in the tr the player here that it is a tough jump to make. So it'll be the little, little hint here will be the cracked stone brick. Uh, there we go. Or maybe mossy stone brick or something like that. Oh my god, okay, there is a cracked stone for that blood jump right there. It earns the cracked stone award. That's from you basically punching your fist against the wall from uh, hitting it so many times. There we go. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to lose it on one of these now. And this is a tough jump too. Okay. So. There we go. Okay. That's another tough jump. So I want to put it, give it a crack stone as well. He earns that, that ward. And then we might be done with phase one here. So let's do a little torch there. Light it up a little bit. One of these. Oh gosh. <laughs> Look like this and actually we'll bring it all the way around here. Ooh, because we haven't done any like through the gap stuff. Oh, man, this would be cruel. Let's just do this. So it's a little bit hectic, a little bit dangerous. This isn't as bad a jump as the other ones were. There we go. This will be an easy jump here. Oh, let's do that. Gets it back onto the different level then. All right, so this is where I'm going to checkpoint it, I think. Um, and we'll switch it back to... Actually, we're almost to the top here. So maybe I can just keep going. And we'll go like this, and then like this. These are all going to be re really easy jumps. Because if you miss one of these, it's going to be uh, tougher. It's not going to be as tough to... Oh, let's do this, like down one. Oh, that's a tough... That's a, That looks like a long jump. But it's not actually. Ah, oh, here we go. We're almost to the top here. Let's do this one again. Let's do this one. Let's do like, like, oh, we'll do like this. So you can't over, overshoot it too much. Like that. Uh, and then you have to go up. Ooh, how do I want to do this? Hmm. Oh, we can go back like this then. That's kind of cool. I like that. No, nope, that's too high. Uh, but I do like that idea of jumping back and forth like this. And then doubles back. That's kind of cool. People be like, where do I go from here? And they'll have to turn around. I like that. Oh, gosh. All right. Well, this is pretty cool, I think, so far. Um, it's a jungle gym. I like it. Um, Yeah, it's tough. Now, uh, we have to pick who we want to give this to also. 
who this, who's this channel is going to gonna go to. Um, and I haven't decided yet, but uh, I would ask that whoever watches this and whoever stops by the area here does not play on it until it is finished, because it's a work in progress. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it. I'll put a note on here saying playground progress. Do not, do not uh, mess with it until it's ready. So this was going this way, and then we go this way. Then we go this way. 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 Then we go this way. Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh, this is going to be tough, man. All right, so let's get up to the last jump here. And then we'll finish this up quick because I just need to wrap this up, I think. We're running short on time. And uh, so this was the jump from here to here, which is a very, very tough jump, actually. So maybe we'll make it a little easier, I think. Um, because it's near the end. I don't want to have anybody quit on me here. Uh, and then we'll, we'll actually make it super easy here. We'll make this actual like staircase um, we're going on right here. So this will signify that you've reached the end kind of thing. All right, so this will be the end then. Uh, and we'll put down some stone more stone slabs here. And this will be the end of stage one. So I think I had mentioned that I was going to do the rest of this on camera and I don't think I'm going to because I can already tell it's going to be very time consuming and I don't know how interesting it'll be just me building this thing. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to build this off camera for next episode and the next episode we'll come back and take a look at it. Um, and hopefully we can challenge then whoever whoever uh, is deemed worthy of this thing. I don't know who we're gonna challenge. I don't think they're necessarily need to be worthy either. It's um, it's gonna be it's gonna be a challenge though. We'll have to figure out who we want to give it to. Uh, and then uh, I'll I'll actually I'm just gonna do the rest. Of the, I'm gonna do three more levels here, two more level, two more levels, uh, and we'll have it all totally finished off for next time. So I'm not gonna take you know two months between episodes here. Is the plan anyways? Uh, and then uh, we'll show it off next time. And I probably won't run through it on camera. For one, I don't want to embarrass myself not being able to complete my own thing. And then two. Uh, well, I will be able to clean my own thing. I'm not, not going to make it that hard. Uh, and then two, I don't want to give away all the secrets of it. So that'll be that'll be safe for whoever actually makes a video for defeating this thing, hopefully. Anyways, thanks for watching this. I'll be done with stage one here, and we'll show off stage two and three next time. Have a good night.